Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to log into Azure portal with the given username and password and uh, we'll be using uh, Selenium to do it automatically and we'll also include Chrome driver and uh, use a Chrome browser extension which will capture the bearer token from the network trace of the Chrome browser. So with that said, I will hit the start button and uh, as you see, the console application has started and uh, it's also going to open up a Chrome browser as you'd see um, once it loads the Chrome driver successfully and um, once it loads it successfully as you see it is going to take it to portal.azure.com and then uh, it will pick up the username and password uh, from app config file to log into Azure and uh, it has already loaded Azure portal with a browser add-on as you would see here and uh, you'd see it's automatically doing the logging in here and uh, on the top you can also see it is uh, running a debugger on get Azure access token from extension and uh, just to say okay because it's already running in and here you go, here's the bearer token, which is not available in the browser directly, but it is actually picking it up from uh, the network trace. So I would say, okay, here, let me also show you the extension. As you can see, the extension is automatically enabled, right? And uh, with that, the next thing is, I would close out the execution of the application and uh, would like to show you the file structure and what are the files included for that you would uh, go to the yeah I just abruptly close it so that might cause an issue here I would rather close the exe that should stop the process and uh, in the meantime as you'd see I'll just go to the file location though the other components are not a part of Visual Studio solution, but I would open that up in a file explorer and let me bring that file explorer to here. As you see, there are other pieces, which is Chrome driver, which helps us to load the Chrome driver and the web driver DLL file. And there is also a Chrome extension files, right? And as you can see, there are a few files over here. Uh, the first one is Azure Storage, which is a folder from JS file to log into Azure Storage file and things like that. And the first file we open here is the Manifest file. Let me see if we can open the Manifest file. And I'm just waiting. So, Manifest file is a file which is available as a part of the extension, uh, which is nothing but um, saying that what are the background files which should be running, what is the content the file should contain. Let me also try to open the other two files. And obviously, Favicon is the icon, which is totally optional when you build a Chrome browser, Chrome browser extension. Just waiting for um, the extension to be created. And also, um, the file I'm showing, I believe I just opened it in the wrong editor. So let me try to close it. And uh, let me go back to the file extension again. And uh, as you see, say close it's over here. And in the meantime, let me also show you um, after we write the extension code, right? To pack the extension, we say pack extension and then uh, load the folder path of the extension. And after that, uh, what we are going to see is uh, an extension created in a CRX and perm dot uh, pm uh, file. And, and fundamentally, we'll be referring this packed extension uh, in our C sharp code, right? So let me see. Open the Chrome extension over here. Let me try to open it in a notepad and see if it opens really, really quickly. So I'd go open with and 
let's go notepad and definitely open up the notepad and see if it is coming in as you can see this is the background js which is running and then in that we are loading the storage table and uh, making some request over here so let me reduce the font to something little smaller to make it um, more readable and uh, this file basically will talk about if the message hits network request will be sent and uh, below that and uh, it might take a while again because I'm things here and uh, also what I do is uh, go to content and uh, I'll open the content see what exactly the content says content is another file and uh, these are basically the extension files right let me see if I can uh, what I have also done is um, store everything in a git repo so you can all the files over here really really quickly i'll let it load instead of that opens in a notepad i'll try to open in github and uh, let's try to open the manifest file first and once i open it it's going to show up the json structure inside that that what's inside uh, the manifest file and as you can see these are the fundamentals it is going to run the background script and it is going to update the name and it is also going to run the content script and when it runs if it matches portal.azure.com so that means if whenever you are logging to azure that's the only time this extension is coming into effect now let us go to the rest of the two files as well and uh, I would go to content.js and content.js is nothing but a, a file of a single line which is basically you know making the chrome extension send a request and, and things like that and then uh, after that the most logical file would be background.js which is running which I also try to open up um, let me see if I can reduce So, whichever opened first, we'll see it there. All right, as you can see, sorry, just, as you can see, there are what you're doing on the top, line number four, you're trying to load uh, the blob storage JavaScript. And on request, we are trying to attach a debugger here and then, um, you know, sending a command on the particular tab whenever we are, we are uh, running the code to log into Azure. It is also enabling the network tab of it right and uh, based on that extension whenever it finds there's a url uh where is management.azure.com slash batch that's where we get the access token and it is trying to capture the authorization header and first of all it is alerting and uh, it is also going to log to azure uh, blob storage which is another function we are calling here and if i come down below what it is doing uh, we are capturing the table storage url with the sas token and basically making the call to insert it so in a full-fledged manner uh, not only it, it opens it uh, in a chrome browser it also kind of <coughs> goes and uh, update the beer token to a storage account so thank you for watching the demo